Hey, what's going on guys? This is Dean List, and today I'm going to be bringing you my guide on the easiest way to complete the drain component of the Strum Exotic Weapon Quest. Strum is a fantastic weapon for PvE and PvP, as getting kills with the weapon fills up your energy weapon magazines. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. So what is Strum? For those of you who may be new to Destiny, Strum is an exotic hand cannon with a few cool perks. The first perk is Combat Grip, which improves the weapon's recoil. Storm and Stress grants bonus precision damage when you get kills with energy weapons. Extended Mag increases the magazine but decreases reload speed. Extended Barrel increases the range but decreases handling speed. And its final major perk, which is Accomplished, replenishes energy weapon ammo when you get kills with Sturm. So as I said before, it's a pretty awesome weapon, especially for strikes and nightfalls. Now just a caveat, uh, you won't be able to get Sturm if you haven't finished the campaign and if you haven't started the exotic quest on Nessus. Once you have this quest, you're going to be asked to get 10 multi-kills of fallen enemies without reloading and to defeat 10 powerful fallen enemies with Drain. Three kills in a row without reloading is considered a multi-kill, and killing any yellow fallen enemies are considered powerful. So those are the enemies that you should be aiming for. Now the easiest way to complete this part of the quest is to cheese an adventure mission called Exotic Siege. In this mission, you're going to face several different types of fallen enemies, which makes it very easy to complete the first part of the quest. In addition, there are also three yellow servitors that you can kill to complete the second part of the quest. After completing the first part of the mission, you're going to enter a cave where you're going to be asked to override shield generators. In this cave, kill the first servitor, then grab the arc charge and place it in the generator. On the other side of the generator, there's going to be two more servitors. Kill these servitors as well, but don't proceed to the next checkpoint. Let the fallen kill you. This will allow you to respawn at the beginning of the cave and fight the servitors again. Repeat this until you have killed all 10 powerful fallen enemies. Once you complete this quest, go talk to Tyra Karn and she's going to give you the last step which is to kill a prime servitor in a strike on Nessus. After completing this part of the quest, go back to farm and talk to Tyra Karn again and you're going to be able to claim your new exotic weapon. I hope this video helped. My next video will probably revolve around the exotic quest for the shotgun that you're supposed to receive in the raid. Also as I find out any new ways to complete this week's nightfall easier, I'm going to create a video about that as well. Uh, I mean the upcoming nightfall, not the one um, for last week. I'm new to the Destiny community, so I would definitely appreciate if you guys could like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. With that being said, I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace!